Hey Mike, it's Lindsay. I'm just gonna make a quick video for you to kind of help you before tomorrow. And hello in London, I'm so happy to help you. Uh, I have made a little outline here for you. Uh, so essentially the nurses are looking to, to get you down to your dry weight and your dry weight is your ideal weight, which is pretty much what your weight would be before you had kidney disease. And unfortunately, there's not like a machine that'll tell us exactly how much water to remove from you. So the nurse has to has to assess you. We have to ask you questions. And essentially, there's like five or six things that we look at to help guide us at how much water we're going to take off of you, how much fluid we're going to remove from you. So the nurse is going to ask you questions like, are you having shortness of breath? You might not be short of breath when you're sitting in the chair, but do you notice that you're feeling short of breath when you walk into the clinic or maybe when you're walking the dog? Those are signs that you are having, you have extra fluid on you. The nurse is also going to listen to your lungs. She wants to make sure that your lungs aren't wet. Uh, if you have fluid in your lungs, that means that you have water for us to take. Uh, they're also gonna look at your whole body. Are your eyes swollen? Are your legs swollen? Are your arms swollen? All of the water that you drink and you do not urinate out has got to go somewhere. And it's going to go in your legs. It's going to go in your lungs. It's going to go in your stomach. It, it, it finds so many places to go. And then the other thing that the nurse is going to do that's a little more complicated and harder to grasp, I'll kind of do a better video on this topic specifically, but they're going to compare what your weight is when you come in that day to what your weight was when you left. So when if you left at 100 kilograms and you came in at 102 kilograms, they're going to think that you have two liters to remove or you because one kilo equals one kilogram. Um, and that, and that being said, the other thing that they look at is your blood pressure. When you're kind of like a fire hose, when your body fills up with fluid, your vessels can only dilate so far. So if you are full of fluid and your vessels are full of fluid, it's going to raise your blood pressure up. So it is not uncommon for people, uh, to come into the dialysis clinic with a higher blood pressure because they're holding on to fluid. The other thing is we also need to make sure we're not taking off too much fluid and this is this is where we really need to talk to you and listen to you and have a con conversation about how dialysis is going are you ha are you cramping at home are you feeling dizzy at home are you sick to your stomach those are all signs that we're taking too much water off of you and it's the nurse's job to find out if we're removing if you if we're it's the nurse's job to find out if you've gained actual weight because you know we tell you to not drink fluid but we tell you to eat protein so are you gaining fat are you gaining muscle or are you gaining water so with that that's kind of what the nurse does to assess your fluid status there's a few other things on the machine that we can do but essentially it's a lot based on our assessments and our conversations with you and you know, as far as fluid restrictions go, definitely like have your nurse write down what your fluid restriction is. It is as a general rule, when we start patients, it's usually a 1200 mil fluid restriction, which equals to about five cups or I believe 40.5 liquid ounces. So if you have a like a cup that ha has measuring things on the side, you know, that's kind of what you can drink that day. You just really have to be careful for other fluids like that are in soups or jellos or things that when at room temperature are liquid. Cause those are, those are the sneaky liquids. And that is kind of like my, oh, I got it in in four minutes, but that's kind of my crash course. And the reason why fluid gains are so important is because if you gain too much fluid, all of a sudden you can't breathe and you're in the ED with water up to your ears. And that sucks. It does not feel good and it is also stressful on your heart. So that is why fluid gains, fluid restrictions, and fluid removal is so important. Mike, I hope that this helped you and um, if you have more questions, please let me know.